everyone i sincerely apologize for my absence for the past two weeks i've been quite sick and i'm just recovering but now i'm better and i'm back today i'm going to be sharing a tutorial on how to make edible fabric in three beautiful ways it's simple it's unique it's going to add color and life to your wedding cakes or fancy cakes or whatever cakes you want to attach it to so let's get started our core ingredients are gelatin unflavored gelatin water room temperature water glycerin now others are weaver paper i'm going to be using the plain and the pattern weaver papers next we're going to be using corn flour then luster dust you could also use petal dust then my tiny winnie lace mat and some brushes then finally color of your choice i'm using a sky blue color here to start i'm going to pour the water into my gelatin and i'm going to mix it well and leave my gelatin to bloom that is you're not going to see any speck of unmixed gelatin and the gelatin is going to absorb the water that's what i mean by blooming your gelatin i kept this aside for 10 minutes to achieve this next i'm going to heat this up in a saucepan with little water you could also microwave it for 30 seconds now look at it now i added my glycerin and i stirred it well it's that simple that's the mixture for this particular edible fabric so from here we're going to do the three method the, the first method i'm going to be using my lamination film you can get this from the bookshop or use your silicone mat next i place my pattern river paper on it and using a pastry brush i'm applying the gelatin mixture generously all over the weaver paper apply it well all over next i'm going to flip the weaver paper to the other side and i'm going to do the same application of gelatin mixture generously so this is the first method brushing it generously all over my weaver paper if you don't have a lamination film you can use your silicone mat I'm repeating the same for the plain weaver paper and then I'll flip and apply the gelatin mixture I'm going to leave it on my work surface for 10 minutes to dry If you are still watching, it means you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. I left this to dry for 10 minutes like I said. And now I'm applying corn flour generously all over the weaver paper using a blush brush. You can use a pastry brush or an artistic paint brush. But I discovered the blush brush applies the corn flour very well. Next, I'm going to be peeling the weaver paper from the lamination film if you're using your silicone mat this is the time to start peeling and as you're peeling you are also going to keep on applying the corn flour the corn flour enables the weaver paper peel off well without sticking to your fingers or sticking to one another so just peel and apply your corn flour simultaneously And this is the first method of creating edible fabric. Now see it, see how soft it is. Now the second method is using a petal dust or a lustal dust. In my case, I'm using a lustal dust to brush. I'm switching over to my blush brush because it's pastry brush is not applying the luster dust well so I'm using a luster dust 
and I'm applying it generously with my blush brush very well. Like I said, you could also use a petal dust. The difference between this lustal dust and the petal dust is that this shines, it glitters. Why the petal dust doesn't? So, while you're peeling off, you keep applying the lustal dust simultaneously. It's that simple. And this is the second method of making your edible fabric. It's beautiful, it's unique, and it's very, very simple. Now see how soft this is. I'm going to keep this aside. Now the third method. For this third method, I'm going to be applying my sky blue color to my gelatin mixture. And instead of using a weaver paper, I'm going to be using my tiny weeny lace mat. There are different sizes of lace mat and the cake stores. But I'm using this tiny little lace mat. Just mix the color into your gelatin mixture well. Then you apply the gelatin mixture on the on the lace mat very well. Make sure your mixture is well applied. It fills up all the pores and all the designs in the lace mat. If not, you're going to have your lace fabric looking awkward, and you don't want that. So make sure your mixture is well applied into all the pores or into all the design well then you use your spatula offset spatula to scrape off the excess just like i'm doing here and then you leave this to, to dry for about 10 minutes and then you could decide to use your corn flour to dust and peel or you use lost out dust or petal dust in my case i'm using the corn flour to dust and peel make sure when you're applying your corn flour you're applying it generously please remember to check the description box below for a link to a detailed recipe with more tips on how to use this gelatin mixture to make your fabric also remember to subscribe leave me a comment i want to see your creation tag me on instagram on facebook on tiktok and let me see what you're creating with this gelatin mixture. Now see how beautiful this is. I'm just repeating what I did before on a plain weaver paper using the colored gelatin. Now this is true. Now to dust off or to clean up your edible fabric, I'm using my blush brush to dust of the corn flour or lost out dust or petal dust depending on the method you use Now this is edible it's soft it's beautiful now to store this just keep it in a dry container filled with corn flour or lost out dust thank you for your support see you next week